Alright guys, we finally had a workable day with the ambient ions and ground rod. <laughs> uh, sorry about the sun, but that's what I got set up right there. A balloon with a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of aluminum on it. And then this 30 gauge wire attached to it. And you can see <clears throat> it runs down to this lead which is supposed to be up here and we're getting ground from this uh, it's about an eight foot half inch pipe I put some uh, rod iron in the middle of it to make it strong so I could hit it in the ground and after messing with a few capacitors this is the only one I'm getting uh, decent results from um, 224k 100 volts and uh, we'll, it's been sitting here for about five minutes. Let's see where it's at. So you can see how quickly it gets depleted using the uh, multimeter. But that was about 0.2 millivolts. Let's see here. We're on uh, 20 volts, and that was 0.2, so yeah, 20 millivolts. Anyway, um, I'll keep plugging along and seeing how much we can charge this little capacitor here, and uh, that'll be the voltage I can go on. <laughs> Alright guys, everybody good luck, and uh, looking forward to everyone's pulse motors. Take care. All right, guys, one last thing uh, before I break down the setup, uh, because I believe I've hit my max. Um, I wanted to show you what, I, what it's bringing in just from ground and uh, the wire up in the air. Uh, so we're on 2,000 uh, microvolts. I'm not really sure on that one. Anyway, very small amount. Um, there you go, take that for what you will. Anyway, after 20 minutes I was able to fill um, that small capacitor uh, to just under one volt. Um, very small amount. I believe it was 0.87. Anyway, alright, I'll update you later when I have more. Bye.